Hey guys, and here we are back with another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to take a look at the new NS panel from Sonoff. We are going not only to take a look, but to see how the installation worked for me and how the device works. Now, this is, in my opinion, something elegant, really simple to use. And if you already have a lot of devices from Sonoff, then this will be a great add-on for your house. At this moment of the recording, still not available for sale, but it is available on a Kickstarter campaign, which I will leave a link down below. And if I'm not mistaken, until November 11th. So if you, are one, if you want to be one of the first to get one of these, don't forget to check the link down below. Price-wise, we are talking about $54 on the Kickstarter campaign. Not really sure the price when it comes out to the market. Now, looking at the panel, it's, in my opinion, elegant and it's very simple and easy to use. And one of the things that I really enjoy is that they did not put too much thing in here so that it would make it slow. It works really fast. It's responsive. So when I pass with my finger, it will respond immediately. It will not stay there like we see some other devices. So a great job right over here. Keep it simple, but keep it great. It has a 3.5 inch LCD display right over here, which I believe that it's enough for what it does. In my particular case, it's an European version. There is also a version for the United States and at the front we will find two physical buttons which we can control two devices in my particular case I'm only control one but I will show in just a few moments at the back we will find the phase input and neutral input and two phase outputs so that we can control two devices the ideal would be to replace a switch that has a dual switch in my particular case the location that i wanted to put where i believe that it makes more sense to me only as a single switch so i'm only using one and here at the bottom we will also find a temperature sensor now in terms of the installation it's really easy don't forget to shut down the the circuit breaker of the area that we are going that you are going to work if you're not sure then just shut down everything and then put everything on once again now in my particular case the only difficulty that i found was that i didn't have a neutral cable on my switch so what i did is to find a derivation box hopefully this is the name that you guys use right over there in portugal it is and then i just grabbed one of the neutral cables passed through uh, to the switch which was really short it was just about two meters away from it and that was it once i had the neutral i could plug it in and bam turn everything on and it worked now once we turn it on we just need to connect the app we link app if you don't have you just need to download and create your account if you are like me which you already have and you've got some of your devices connected for example if i go right over here i will control that light or this light or this light or leds or things like that so let's put it back and once we connect it it's really simple connected by bluetooth actually this was the first device from sonoff that connected via bluetooth all the others via wi-fi this one was really really the easiest one once we connect to our phone then we configure our wi-fi network it will connect directly to the network and that is it and once we have configured on the app we can start using if we swipe down we will have the energy options along with the brightness of the screen which we can put it stronger or weaker we also have the two physical buttons which we can uh, as i said control two lamps for example in my particular case i have a balcony lamp which is connected to this switch so i'm just using that one when we look at the first screen we have the home screen which will show us the indoor temperature outdoor temperature date and time now regarding the indoor temperature which is measured by the sensor right over here i find that it's a bit off we are talking about two two and a half three degrees celsius compared to other devices that i have so probably this is something that needs to be fixed on a firmware update which i already had one firmware update when i did connect and it didn't fix this issue so hopefully in the future it will be fixed nothing really serious but for those that will use the thermostat function that we'll see in just a few moments it is important to get a little bit more accurate everything else works great it gets the temperature from the location of your app so everything nice now the second panel will be the one that we can configure up to eight 
widgets they call it widgets but it's devices that we have connected so we can select up to eight two rows of four For, uh, simple switches we just need to press i've got two vacuum cleaner from the pool and the pool pump for example which i just press and it turns on or turns off but if we have dual switches for example like i've got here on the office and also on the backyard uh, once we press it will open another menu and will give us the option to uh, turn on number one or turn on number two so just a great experience right over here and once again one of the things that i really enjoy is that it's simple and probably you could see that on the image once i press it will do the action and this is great from a device such as this then we have another screen which is the thermostat and the idea right over here is to connect either a heater or a ac for example in terms of the heater we can put one of those oil heaters on the room and then we can configure the temperature that we want for example let's say that i want the room temperature up to 28 degrees so the device will turn on if we put it on auto it will turn on and it will remain on until the sensor captures 28 degrees on the room of course we have to use sonoff devices to work together and in this particular case the ether would need to be connected to a sonoff plug for example which we have seen here on the channel and i've got a few used here so that's one of the examples also a portable ac for example can work to cool down that particular area so the idea is this one. something that i personally don't use i've got smart acs well acs that i did turn smart with other devices that i can control the temperature if i want automatic or not but nonetheless the option is nice it's here so for those of you that still use a classic form of eating like an oil eater then it will be great in terms of the app really quickly because it is the wheeling app as we know and right now it has a new device the ns panel once we open right there we will have the options for the thermostat for example which was what we were talking about right now where we can configure if you want manual automatic the temperature that we want to turn it on or off we also have the turn on and turn off the ns panel switch on the app like we have for any other son of device and then we have things like localization and so on and so forth. There are two that I believe that are interesting, one of which is the widgets, where we will be able to choose which devices will appear on the widgets panel on the NS panel. This is great. There is a maximum of eight that we can choose. Actually, I've got more than eight. It would be great to see a second widget panel. Son of, if you are watching the video, probably that could be something. I'm not really sure if it's possible or not, but instead of just one screen with widgets, maybe two screens so instead of eight we could have 16 and that would be even better also there is the option for the screen settings which we can enable something that might be important for some of you which is the, the energy savings that will allow us to put it to sleep completely dark so if you have this on your bedroom it will go completely dark uh, after one minute for example without being touched in a particular case i'm using on a living room near the couch where i sit and sometimes i'm answering emails or replying to your comments on youtube and things like that so that was in my opinion the best location for it and i prefer to see it always on it gets a little bit dimmer and then once we touch it gets brighter and it's a great experience now this was the first installation today i still need to use it a lot more time and i am curious to know if it works with home assistant which we will put it to work and the experience and so on and so forth in my opinion it is an elegant device which might be useful for those that already have a son off a few son off devices and you want to control them in a very easy way without using your phone then great but i would love to hear from you guys what you think about it. let me know down below in the comment section hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one